वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेबोरेटरी मैनुअल फॉर बेसिक साइंस केमिस्ट्री कोर्स कोड इज टू टू वन जीरो टू दिस इज फॉर सेमेस्टर वन फॉर डिप्लोमा इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोग्राम फॉर ऑल प्रोग्राम इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर केमिस्ट्री मैनुअल प्रिफेस इज गिवन दीज आर सम प्रोग्राम आउटकम्स बेसिक नॉलेज डिसिप्लिन नॉलेज then experiment and practice engineering tools the engineer and society environment and sustainability ethics individual and teamwork then communication and lifelong learning these are practical and course outcome matrix that means how practicals are related to uh, theory it is given in this matrix then next one is content page this is very important page for practicals in this page uh, practical outcomes are given that means experiment title is given first one is identification of cation then identification of anion redox titration preparation of corrosive medium effect of temperature on rate of corrosion then electrode potential of copper metal electrode potential of iron metal daniel cell then determination of ph value electrochemical equivalent then equivalent weight of metal effect of temperature on viscosity then steam emulsification number flash and fire point by cleveland's open cup apparatus then flash point by abel's closed cup apparatus and thinner content in oil paint out of this 16 experiment you can see video of first seven experiment on my youtube channel link is given in description now each experiment is for 25 marks what you have to do for this 25 marks let us see this is experiment number 1 that is identification of cations now what we are going to see in this video is how to write manual to get maximum marks now this is the first experiment in this experiment there is identification of cation and a confirmatory test of cation you have to take two solutions and uh, write down the results now see what you have to do is write actual procedure followed procedure is given then resources used they are also given in manual itself precautions followed they are also given here see then in identification of cation first you have to write down the test that means first test if it is positive then write down observation and inference if it is negative then write down no ppt if positive then take ct that is confirmatory test for that cation similarly for the second solution you have to write down test then observation and inference then take confirmatory test for positive observation then write down result interpretation of result conclusion and recommendation these are some practical related questions uh, how to write these questions let us see one by one now let us see how to write practical related questions this is experiment number 1 that is identification of cation uh, result is given here cation identified in given solution 1 is pb plus 2 that can be obtained by dissolving pbcl2 in salt pbcl2 salt in water then second solution is cation identified in given solution 2 is fe plus 2 that can be obtained by dissolving feso4 salt in water then interpretation of result that is in sample solution 1 pb plus 2 cation is identified while in sample solution 2 fe plus 2 cation is identified then how to write conclusion or recommendation from this experiment we have found that the types of cations present in the given sample which help in sample testing in industry then question and answer for experiment number 1 is solution a gives first this is first question solution a gives black ppt with dilute hcl and h2s gas which basic radical is present in given solution solution a gives black ppt with dilute hcl and h2s gas and cu plus 2 it is the basic radical which is present in the given solution then describe identification procedure for ba plus 2 or ca plus 2 radical from given unknown solution this is the identification procedure 
एड एन एच फोर सी एल एन एच फोर ओ एच एंड एन एच फोर टॉय सी ओ थ्री टू द ओरिजिनल सोल्यूशन इफ वाइट प्रेसिपिटेड ऑक्टेन देन देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ बी ए प्लस टू और सी ए प्लस टू इन द सोल्यूशन देन आइडेंटिफाई द कैट एन इन सोल्यूशन एक्स इफ सोल्यूशन एक्स हैविंग पेल ग्रीन कलरेशन वेन मिक्सेस विथ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड गिव डर्टी ग्रीन प्रेसिपिटेड इफ एक्स इज हैविंग पेल ग्रीन कलरेशन and when mixed with sodium hydroxide gives dirty green precipitate then given x solution is fe plus 2 cation now let us see a uh, result interpretation of result and question answer for experiment number 2 identification of anion this is the experiment number 2 result how to write anion identified in the given solution 1 is co3 minus 2 Which is obtained from NH four twice CO three salt in water when it is dissolved in water. Then I anion identify in given solution two is SO four minus two, which is obtained by dissolving FeSO four salt in water. Then this is interpretation of result. Then conclusion and recommendation it is also given here. Then let us see question and answer. Identify acidic radical present in the given solution A, which gives effervescence of CO two gas with HNO three. If given solution gives gives effervescence of CO two gas with HNO three, then solution A contain CO three minus two ions. Then explain the separation test for halides in the sample solution. Take original solution in test tube. To this, add AgNO three solution. If white precipitate observed, which is soluble in dilute HNO three, then in the given sample Cl minus Br minus I minus may be present. But we have to find out only one radical for that. We have to take separation test. For that, take original solution, add chloroform, add chlorine water, and shake that solution. Then observe the lower layer of chloroform. The color which is present of uh, the chloroform layer, it indicates whether Cl minus, Br minus, or I minus is present. Then identify. This is question number three. Identify anion in solution X if solution X when mixed with barium nitrate, which gives white pre precipitate. When solution X mixed with barium nitrate gives white precipitate. Then there is SO four minus two ion is present. Now experiment number three, how to write down reason? Percentage of iron in given sample is how many percentage? Percentage must be naturally less than hundred. Interpretation of reason: Given sample solution contain ferrous alloy as major proportion of iron. Then conclusion and recommendation it is also given. Then uh, let us see question and answer. Describe preparation. Of point one normal oxalic acid, take four point five gram of oxalic acid in volumetric flask. Add one liter distilled water and dissolve it completely. This is preparation of point one normal oxalic acid. Then next is state the role of zinc granules in the preparation of sample solution. The particle size of zinc granules in large is large in comparison with zinc powder. Due to large surface area, zinc is used in the form of granules. Zinc reacts with sulfuric acid and releases hydrogen gas, and forms zinc sulfate. And to avoid for avoid bumping of solution, also zinc granules are used for safety. Then, what is atomic weight of iron? It is fifty five point eighty four. These are the question and answer, and how to write down result interpretation of result. of experiment number 1 2 and 3 in next video we will see next three experiment question answer result thank you